Hey, this is Rachel from the Tool Library. I'm here to show you five tools you can check out from the Tool Library to help build a compost bin. Let's get started. The five tools you'll need to borrow from the Tool Library are work gloves, side wire cutters, a cat's claw bar, a round point shovel, and a leaf blower mulcher kit. Safety gear is available in addition to the five tool limit. The supplies you'll need to gather include three wooden pallets. Try to find some for free from local businesses if you can. You will also need some metal wire or zip ties. Try baling or what is also called tie wire as it's easy to twist and it's also pretty durable. You'll also need a friend to help move and hold your pallets in place. Once you've gathered your materials, you'll want to find a space in your yard. Pick a spot in your yard that does not puddle with water and is not in the direct sun all day. With gloved hands, set the pallets on their ends to make a 90 degree angle. While your friend holds the pallets, cut a length of wire with an extra five inches on each side. Make sure you are wrapping your wire around both ends of the pallets to hold them together. Twist the ends of your wires together as tightly as you can. Pull the sides to twist and take up the slack, then tuck the ends over on themselves so they don't stick out. Do this in the middle and on the bottom so your pallet can stand alone. You will then place the third pallet on the other side creating a 90 degree angle. Repeat the tying on the top, middle, and bottom of your angle with wire. So once you build your compost bin, you want to do a lasagna method. This means mixing a layer of brown and green. Your browns are going to be your dry leaf, uh, dry cut grass, pine needles, cardboard, paper. Look for cardboard without synthetic dyes on them, and anything that's real dry. Uh, if you put sticks in it, make sure you're breaking those sticks apart. Now your green part of your lasagna is going to be the fresh composting cuts like from your kitchen. So look for your vegetable scraps, um, fruit scraps, uh, fresh cut grass can be added as a green. Um, you also could add weeds from your garden that you've pulled. Uh, and you're gonna wanna layer those in a four to one uh, ratio. So for every one part of vegetable scraps you put in, you're gonna wanna put in four part dry leaves. That helps create space and oxygen that really starts to develop that um, energy in the compost bin. It makes it really active and healthy. Uh, things you wanna avoid for your composting bin is any meat, any kind of dairy. Uh, you also don't want to add uh, salt that will inhibit the growth of bacteria in the composting bin. Um, just kind of try to stick to those green things, uh, vegetables and fruits. In the fall, or when all the leaves are on the ground, use the leaf blower mulcher kit to gather your leaves to gather for your compost. Follow the directions in the manual to place the mulcher accessories on the leaf blower. This kit includes a 100 foot extension cord for maximum reach. You'll want to create a large pile of leaves or pine needles you can add every time you add food scraps to your compost. Sometimes people build additional sections of pallets so they can have a bin to maintain a leaf pile. Keep a container with a lid in your kitchen while you cook and then dump it in your bin at the end of the day. Remember to add four parts brown to your green stack. The materials will break down over time and you'll know that your compost material is ready when it's rich and dark brown in color and smells like earth. You should not see recognizable food scraps and it should feel crumbly in your hand. For more information about the Tool Library, check out cals.org.